I think we can speak for I, I can speak for all of us that uh, Eddie's short uh, Vandal really captivated like uh, what it is his vision could be and we all want to be a part of something that was maybe close to as special. Um, I know that me, Karuchi, and Jason got together and saw a bunch of uh, storyboards before we ever saw a script. And then on set, you know, we, we th this film sort of unfolded. It wasn't necessarily that there was 120 pages on the table. Um, it, uh, so I haven't seen the film. I'm pretty sure we've all only done ADR. <laughs> um, <laughs> so it's, I'm very excited to see how it came together. Yeah. And I do have to say that when I first got attached to the project, I was attached to something completely different. But then, like, like Moises said, you watch Vando and you watch Eddie's other things, and he tells you, like, hey, I have this different idea. We're still going to make a movie, but let's just do something different. And I was like, uh, you know what? Like, I'm going to trust you. I'm going to trust you, and it ended up being what we have now. Yeah, and I don't even think we had a script. Mm -hmm. It was just straight off of a storyboard, which was new for me. Um, I like to like over prepare and like study. So I'm like, oh my God, Eddie, like I need something. <laughs> and then I went to the office and I saw the storyboard and I was like, oh, yes. whoa. And so to see it, you know, on the board and then on set and Steven has the whole, it was just crazy. And again, us just leaning into um, Eddie's mind and his creativity and trusting him. Yeah, there was a script. I mean, it was 30 pages, but it was, oh, was it? yeah, because oh, okay. there were scenes, I mean, but it evolved, yeah. It's kind of a work in progress. I mean, as far as my character, kind of, I saw Vandal, like Moises said, and I found him to be um, original, and I hadn't seen a short like that, so I wanted to, we talked during COVID, and wanted to make a movie, and he talked to me about this character, Jackson, and kind of built the character. Then he started sending me some pages, very few, very few. And then we kind of did makeup tests. And then we were kind of in Joshua Tree doing the first big part of the shoot. And, uh, you know, it was, it evolved. It was a very unorthodox kind of way of making a movie. But Eddie's um, unique. And, you know, in a time where most movies are regurgitated in the same thing, mm -hmm. you want to kind of, I like to try to do different things. So. I mean, he's nothing like me, and Eddie was sending me videos of these incredibly smart, kind of Asperger-y type, from Elon Musk interviews to strange, very smart, kind of far out uh, political talk shows, weird scientist stuff, you know, just kind of trying to embellish me with as much, uh, you know, what is a, a guy like this, you know, 30 years in the future, or whatever it is, where is he living in Joshua Tree, what's he doing in his basement, you know, who is this guy, but he's kind of taken over the, the world and, you know, he's a hermit and very strange character for me to play. So, you know, it was for me just a totally different kind of thing. Um, but yeah, I mean, I agree with everybody else on the just kind of trusting Eddie um, in his vision. Uh, and yeah, very unorthodox set. Um, mm -hmm. I like that. I feel like we've all been working <clears throat> a really long time. and. It's, it's nice to kind of be thrown into something that is uh, so, so different than what um, you're expecting. And, and we got to shoot together, which was, um, yeah. yeah, I'm not going to give that part away, but um, <laughs> it was interesting. Yeah, interesting and very fun. <laughs> very, very oh, fun. Eddie. <laughs> I, I was hoping it was going to be easy because it was one location um, for the block that we're talking about, but it was incredibly difficult. Me and Jason had to learn jujitsu. Um, we had uh, sort of tattoos that go on to our palms, and you can imagine in Joshua Tree at 120 degrees outside what that would, uh, what that would be like. Um, so luckily it was 16 mil uh, film, and you know, film hides. Everything, <laughs> yeah, which is awesome. Yeah, I, I love that um, you could also work on such a kind of broken down set and a broken down crew, really, really, really small, tight crew. Um, and it was really interesting to like look at it and then you look at it on, uh, on the monitor and you're like, holy fuck. This yeah. really does look amazing. Mm -hmm. It looks uh, so beautiful. Film just captures everything in, in, in such a intriguing way. And I think that, you know, for it being in black and white, it was kind of the only way to do Eddie's vision. Yeah. That's like, is his vision. <laughs> I don't know who else did the uh, stop motion stuff. I, I, I was, I, yeah, it was incredibly um, different. Um, I, I wasn't there for the photography portion of it, but I was there for the matching. And so they would show me what was put together and 
you know, uh, I'm, I'm pretty sure that I'm not giving anything away by, by saying that there's a, there's a fight. And uh, I'm, I'm matching, uh, yeah, I, I actually can't say it, but basically there's a fight that I had to match. And uh, it, was, it was a lot of fun, but it was a lot of, it, it was strenuous. I mean, prosthetics are a pain in the ass, but, you know, it is what it is. It's, uh, I've done it a bunch, you know. Um, this, this movie wasn't as extreme. I mean, it was extreme on a couple days, but, you know, the character goes through stages. And um, again, yeah, Joshua Tree wasn't the ideal place for prosthetics because prosthetics melt. So, you know, heat and prosthetics don't go together. But we got through it, and, you know, cool artists did it. And, uh, um, yeah. I feel like just opening up a conversation to whatever it is that they feel from the movie. I think everyone's going to have their own interpretations of death and afterlife and rebirth. And um, I think that's what's most interesting, I think, just to hear what people have to say, you know, regardless of whether they, they hate it or love it. Um, and I don't know, I think it's just going to do really well, and I'm super excited.